So when using the micromedical device, um, you connect the filter into the top port here. And then to attach that, you connect the snip probe by just twisting it on gently. And then to turn it on for a snip, push this dial up to the very, very top. When the device beeps, it's ready to take a measurement. And how do you tell what size of the probes you need? So there is different sized probes. So there is a size one, two, three, and four with this device. So have a look at the patient's nostril size. Generally for adults, you use size three and size four. It's always better to use a slightly larger probe so that the, the probe completely occludes the nostril. Thanks, Seamus. So to set up the micromedical device to do a maximum inspiratory pressure, you get the valve assembly unit and a filter, connect the two of those together. The, for doing a maximum inspiratory pressure, the valve assembly should say inspiratory. You connect that to the top port on the device and then attached to the filter, you connect the mouthpiece. And this should be a flanged mouthpiece in order to prevent any leaks when you're doing the test. To do, to turn the device on, slide it up one to the MIP and MEP um, writing. When the device beeps, it's ready for a measurement. Okay, to do a maximum expiratory pressure, connect the filter to the expiratory valve assembly, and then you connect the expiratory valve assembly to the top port on the device, connect the mouthpiece to the end of the filter, and then turn the device on by sliding the dial up to MIP and MEP. When the device beeps, it's ready for a measurement. So once you're finished testing, you want to keep these parts here. These are quite expensive and we don't want to throw them away. These bits here, they're single patient use and can be disposed of. And then the mouthpiece should be disinfected according to your local policy guidelines.